<laughs> Give us the fullness of it. Look at that. I'm only Lure Pete. Is that Antigua, right? No. That's the is that Antigua? Is that Antigua? That's right. Yes. So there it is. Is it a oh. rising sun sort of a oh, oh Joe, I want yes, be a flag. flag. Oh yeah, job be a flag. Look, right. look at that. Holy, oh, holy, holy, holy. You're very right, oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah, give, us, give, us, give us the fullness now. Ho, ho, can you can you hold it wide so we can see the fullness of it? Okay, all right. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, look at that. Can you see now? Uh -huh. Yes. See, I want Biafra to log in flag here. I want to log Biafra. Oh, what are you talking about, uh, uh, Dr. Jan Legoko? A uh, flag here with that of Biafra. Uh -huh. They look alike now, that uh, logo there. Yeah, they, 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 look alike, they look alike. They cannot take it. Away. They cannot steal it from uh, Biafra. Maybe Biafra copy them. Oh. <laughs> 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 Look at that, they are already tell, telling us anti Antigua Antigans. Uh, is it Antigans or Antiguans? What what are they called? Antigans or Antiguans? Antiguans are Igbo now. They are Igbo yeah, 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 now. Look at that. Yeah. 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 And and uh, and and they can conquer at last. He was looking for a country and there was one there was one already there for him. He could have just yeah, well, yeah now. So maybe we should send this to DSS. Maybe we send this to DSS. Let them give him the flag and put him on a plane to Antigua. You already have your country. Uh, look at that. Well done. Uh, what's well, the national? Are they, what's the national sport? What's the national sport there? Cricket. Is it, it cricket. cricket? Cricket. Yeah, it's always cricket in the you Caribbean. Call it cricket. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You call it cricket. Look at that. Uh, oh, oh God. So any other wow. question? <laughs> I, I, yes. Uh, who, 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 do they, who, who has the prettier, the prettier girls, the Antiguans or the Nigerians? Uh, I would say Nigerians. I would say Nigeria, yeah. but they have anyway. You, they have a lot of uh, beautiful, beautiful lady in Antigua too. But uh, you know, Nigeria. What's the population? Your... What's the population? So you want to know the population? Yeah. Uh, Less than less than one twenty thousand or they are about. Oh my God! <laughs> it, it, do they refer to? Is it is it classified as a country or an island? Or and is it, there a distinction? A country with prime minister and ministers. Wow! Wow! You surprised? Like I said, like I said the other time on this platform, right? Because um. Because we have never been to, to certain places, right? That is why we are saying that Nigeria, uh, would, I, would I say that uh, all the states in Nigeria, they are all blessed. If Nigeria is divided by, by state by state, right? Let's on those states be country on its own. Lagos says be country on its own. We have enough resources to live better life. I said on this platform, some people don't really believe. In Antigua, we use a generator to power the country 24-7. That surprised you, right? And light is all over everywhere. The same light they used, I mean, the same um, the same uh, uh, light they used to, to power the, the, the company that they have there, power the hotel, power all the government uh, facilities, and your house. But it's a very, very big one. That is what we use. I lived there for like I lived there for eight or eight years plus. So every state in Nigeria can develop the, develop themselves. How, how, how did you end up there? How did I end up there all the way from Nigeria down to Antigua? When I oh, when I when I left yeah. Nigeria, when I left Nigeria, I visited you guys in UK. Spent a couple days in UK, then left. So then end up in Antigua. When I got there and um, well, find myself something that I can do. Then uh, get the job with government and work with government until when I came to Canada to study. So that is how that's how the journey 
how, how did they respond? How did they respond to you when you got there? Um, what do you mean by how did they respond to me? Like, well, obviously you were foreign. So, what was their mm -hmm. reaction to you? What, what was their were, were they warm and welcoming? Did they look at you with suspicion? Did they query why you were there? You know, all of those sorts of things. Well, um, you know, every country in the world, you have a bad, you have, you have bad people, you have good people. Some we some welcome you and they show you ways and they want to to prosper. And they try to get you job. Why some people believe that? Oh, you came here to take their job, and also um, some of them believe that they are from Africa. To be precise, there was a time I was working and one one old lady came. And she said, "You know, you are from Nigeria." I said, "Yes." You know, my root, my, you know, my my forefather are from they are from Nigeria. I said, "How do you mean?" She said, "They are from uh, I think they are from uh, Lagos or Bini." Eh. I said, "How much do you know about this?" And she was telling me a lot of stories. So we 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 have some people like that. It's this young uh, generation that they believe that uh, when you ask them now that where are you from, they will say they are from UK. <laughs> why because you know it was british colonized and things so they mm. they that gets into their brain so they don't even know where they where they from and i want to say maybe some of them don't really want to associate themselves with with africa based on the based on what they are hearing because um antigans they are just like uh Aousa people right they, they you know like Aousa people they usually travel out and come back home just mm. That is just Antigua. When they tell you me, me want me won't go New York. We won't go New York. Just is that their ambition? That's their ambition to go to either New York or London. Yes, they usually that is the uh, um, um usual place that they usually travel to is either London or New York. Two weeks, bam, back to Antigua. So they don't really stay outside like I they want to stay outside and uh, they don't really have time for that. So ply go, ply come, just like Ausa. Did you have a plan? How did you how did you accommodate yourself? Did you already arrange accommodation before you got there? Uh, talk, talk us through your first week there. Uh, what was your <laughs> own reaction to it? If you're okay. happy to, if you're happy to talk about it, because we are well, curious, yeah. Well, well, like me, I, I'm not um I am not uh, a person that shy away from my background and what I've went through. And I always use that as an example for, for many young people that if you aspire of doing something, you can as well achieve it. I'm so, I'm very sorry, woman, to take some of the time because you asked me questions. No, no, no. no. We we are all interested. I think we you, are. You are, uh, yeah, you are, you know, you are asking yeah. me. You are asking me yeah. about how I move all the way from Nigeria. Yes. Initially, you know, the so-called uh, United States, that was the place I really wanted to be before. And I tried so many times, apply for US visa. I was turned down, apply for UK visa. As a matter of fact, the first, very first instance to visit, I wanted to visit UK and about four or five times, they turned me, they refused me. I applied two times in, uh, three times in Lagos, applied two times in Abuja, they refused me. Then I tried to go to school in the uh, Czech Republic. That one was not, uh, no way. Then the issue of Antigua came to came to light. So, are you interested in Antigua? And I said yes. I've been hearing about that country, but I want to give it a, a try, a trial. Then Antigua visa came. At that time, they used to use ordinary stamp, a full stamp on your passport, and the visa will usually issue from UK, from the embassy in UK. They send it back to you at home. Then you, you now apply for your transit. So then, before you can go to Antigua. Is it that you travel through UK, or you travel through Amsterdam, or you travel through Frankfurt, or you travel through uh, Paris? Now I got my ticket, never knew anything about traveling, submitted my application to UK embassy. Bam! They turned me down. They said you apply for wrong visa. <laughs> then I apply again. Bam! They turned me down. For on, on my transit alone, I was refused five times on, on that transit. I'm not talking of applying for UK visa that I want to mm. go to UK. I was refused five times when I want to apply for, for transit. So my visa...
what it mean um, like three for it to expire when i got my my uk visa it was a it was it was a, a lengthy interview when i went to the uk embassy in uh, lagos me and one that was my first time of having conversation or interview with white people eventually you know in uh, cage number eight i still remember that number so all this all this you question do believe you're so smart right <laughs> when that cage called number everybody run away so you know, know me are correct boys right they call and uh, next cage number eight then i went there and i said this person is not god well we went through interview i got through bam i find myself in antigua let me let me start from antigua now so when i got to antigua i we have couple nigerians yet as well and i i it, I, I happened to meet uh, to meet uh, uh, one man he's uh he's well known in, in antigua and he's working for government and he has been there for many years and he married to antigua antigua lady he accommodated me for like uh, two days did, did, did you have that plan already or you just landed with nowhere to stay actually that person in question was the person who helped me procure the visa then i okay. i gave oh, him oh. the money all oh. right but when i was living in nigeria i left nigeria with six uh, sixty dollars sixty us <laughs> landed in antigua nowhere to find my nothing to have i mean nothing I went with uh, some food stuff. So that person uh, accommodated me for like two nights. Then I met another person from my town. Then I spent uh, two weeks with that person. Then after that, that person left. Then I start renting my own house. Now to cut the story short, like I'm not shying away from my background. I work for government from 2005 as a, um, a road cleaner. You know those who usually clean drainage, right? Are you hearing me? Yes, yes. Okay, that was how I started. I started cleaning drainage for government, like go to the gutter and you have to use your your spade to scrape whatever you have there. Sometimes you have uh, uh, so many dirty something, dirty something like uh, refuse from home that uh, came from their sink to the gutter. You have to take it out so that it won't block the place. I did that, used my woodwork, I cut grass for the government for, I did that for two years. Then uh, I got uh, transferred to prison service because I was interested in the prison service. Then I got transferred to prison service. Then in prison service, I worked there for like eight years as a correction officer. I work all over anyway, work in maximum security, work in maximum security for like five years. Then I work in maximum. I work. Um, I work in the remand section. I work in the juvenile detention center. I work in the open yard. Then thereafter, I said, "Well, it is good for me to go back to school." Bam. Then I apply for for study permit. Then I got my visa. And the funniest part of it is that when I got my visa, I have not got my citizenship and got citizenship at that time. So my visa was originally approved on Nigerian passport. So visa to that's to Canada, right? Yes, to study oh. here. Okay. So it was approved on Nigerian passport. Then I, when I was about to come, then they approved my citizenship in Antigua. Then I came to Canada study. So then we moved through all that. Then since then we've been in Canada. So what I'm taking out of it, uh, mean bring out of it is that i always tell people when you come to abroad and you want to achieve something you you, you don't have to start from the top and if you if you want to start from the top that is why most of most nigerians are having problem and they have to involve in a lot of nonsense but if you if you not belittle yourself if you if you believe okay let me just start from something and you can Take yourself up by up. Remember, I was working in the drainage for government, then move from there as to correctional officer. Then from there, came here as a student. Then when I came here, I was working as a as a customer service agent, which I did. Then when I finished my degree, 
Then I got the job I'm doing right now, working with the youth. Right? So that is that is how you do things. You don't want to start from 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 top. You start from little by little. Then you will, you will, you will, you will be fine. Right now, I, I'm not that rich, but I'm at least I'm comfortable in my own bubble. Anyway, <laughs> we, 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 we can we can we can see the comfort of your cheeks. Uh, eh? So, eh, look at so, eh, 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 yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So that is my advice for Nigerians. Don't think that okay when you go to abroad, it's going to it's going to be that rosy. You start from somewhere, then you work your yourself up from there. Well done. Um, would you recommend Antigua to for, for Nigerians as a path as a pathway out of? Uh, because they are all fixated on uh, the the one place that Nigerians wants to go to is probably the UK. Because, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. yeah, because everybody has a relative of some sort in the UK, yeah. so yes. they all want that. After yes. that, they want the US. But yes. really, there is life beyond these two countries. And then yes. they start to cascade, then they Poland, Ukraine, you know, but yes. really they want to either yes. come to, to yes. the UK or to the US. But would Where? you recommend then all these are, uh, because uh, apparently there are about 30 countries visa free for Nigerians. So there are other pathways apart from that. There, that, there, there is nothing wrong in uh, in going to Antigua. There is not a, a lot of Caribbean island. You can even find better life than, I'm not going to say that they are better than US or UK. But at least you can. The, the, most of them are better than Nigeria. I'm very sorry. To, I'm born in Nigeria, but I can tell you because even what I achieved when I was in Antigua, I did been I was home. Even up to now, I, I couldn't achieve it anyway. But it's just that I think, okay, let me just move, step up again. Then I have to move. Like other people, I usually like to go to so-called US uh, or UK. But when I go to Antigua, I just see that. Why? Why you? Why do? Why I was even clean myself to go to UK self or USF? Because when I got there, within one year I can go anywhere I want, travel or everywhere. I got to Antigua 2005. By 2006, I was in UK, the same UK that refused me so many times. I went there, spent my holiday two weeks, spent my own money there, left and went back to Antigua. Is then it is I, it is it visa free on that passport to come to the UK? On the Antigua and passport, yeah, yeah, it's, it's free. It's, it's free visa to anywhere in Europe, anyway. Hmm. UK, um, European country is free. You you want to go to Switzerland, want to go to Poland, anywhere in Europe, it is free. But you have to get visa to go to Australia, uh, Australia, New Zealand, and US. And the funniest part of it is that if you apply with your Antigua visa to US, if they want to give you it's ten years, they will give you one time. Even even right now, even right now, I got my my US visa in 2000 and 2006, 2016. Sorry, ten years. I couldn't use it because I have my Canadian passport. I do. I that is not going to be useful. So I still have about two or three years on it right now. That's still valid. So you 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 don't have to kill yourself. Oh, I have to go to US. I have to go to uh, UK. I have to do this. I have to do that. You can start from from little thing. Then you can develop yourself from there. And and but you know. Well, what's their currency? What's the currency? It what's is the East, currency? Eastern, Eastern Caribbean dollar. So it is just uh, uh, one uh, one US will be one US dollar will be two point seven six nine Eastern Caribbean dollar. So one uh, one one Canadian dollars will be two point three Eastern Caribbean dollars. How, how big is the Nigerian population there? Uh, well, right now the last time because I went there last month, right? I was there for like a week. Right now, Nigeria over there will be at least like, I think they will be up to 500 anyway. And are they all clustered in one, uh, are they congregated together? Uh, I would say yes, but you know, some, some of them are very busy sometimes, so they don't really have time. And they, and they also have meetings sometimes anyway, but if that answer your question. Oh, oh, all right. Um. Uh, you said you worked in the correctional facilities. What sort of yeah. crimes? What sort of crimes do they commit? A population of 120 million. What sort of crimes has been committed there? Well, the point is that we have it might not really come on to the, that terminology might not really come on to people on this platform like enigmatic. <laughs> <laughs> so there is something we call lastly, like you 
I don't know if you really know what that means. Like you take something that does not belong to you, like maybe somebody has employed you and you and you take something from that place. We call it last name. But uh, that is one of the one of the crime that usually bring uh, people to prison. And um, based on my experience, when I was at prison, I see somebody who came here as for just petty crime, like like last name or, or uh, break, uh, breaking an entry, and eventually commit murder, and eventually even get killed because he want to escape prison. So these these are the things. So. So those are those are the minor minor things that uh, that that crime that they commit that they commit in a year we might have like maybe like five homicide. Then I want to bring something to Ajale Goko intention that uh, America the so called uh, American citizen cannot be uh, get a uh, uh, head in prison. I have them I have them very very well at uh, uh, at Kenge. Is it? Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Just, Don't get me wrong. I'm just, not saying that. Look, what I'm saying is that where, where, wherever American, in, in any part of this world, if an American run into any crime problem, American state will stand up for him. He might uh, be sent to jail, but they will not abandon him. They will well, not leave him alone to suffer. You are, you are, you are very right. You, UK and uh, all this uh, UK, uh, US, Netherlands. I have met some of their consulates anyway. Came to prison because they want to interrogate their their own citizen. I have seen a lot of a lot of them came to the place and we um, interrogate them and they talk with their with their with their citizen and they find a lawyer for them and make sure that the 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 they treat them the way it's supposed to be done. I mean, I mean, according to the law. So, right now we have one guy in you from UK. Um, according, he, 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 he was he used to be one of the Scotland uh, Yale uh, police officer. So he came to Antigua for a, for a visit and uh, he drugged one lady and penetrated her. Then they had to repatriate her from, I mean, repatriate him from UK to Antigua. And they sentenced him to like, I think it's uh, 15 years in prison. So what happened is that, like you rightly said, you, you are correct in some instances anyway. What they do is that they are not going to put them in the uh, prison population. They might house them in police headquarters or they might take them to like secluded facility where they will have a, at least better quality of life than uh, a prison population. Yeah, they, 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 they won't leave them alone to go through the abuse system so, and everything. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, exactly. So so yeah. we have one right now that is being housed in the former uh, US base uh, in Antigua. So they, they take they took him away all the way from uh, from uh, from uh, population, prison population, and they house him alone. So things like that do happen. Things like that do happen. Wait, Barbara, is, is, it, is it which country? What was that? Is it a rich country or poor country? A rich country? Yeah, I think. Uh, well, to, 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 to its own level, it's a rich country to its own level, at least. Uh, they provide uh, uh, electricity for their for their citizens, provide pipe bond water, provide normal basic amenities for their for their for their um, for their citizens. Wow. It, it, it's, not, it's not tourism based, isn't it? Is that's the that's, that's the you are, you are very correct. Based, yeah. they, they mostly mainly depends on the uh, on the uh, on tourism. Then I'm praying for them that we can have crude oil now because I want to go back. Like the way we have like a lot of you know. That was going to be my question to you, Baba. Why didn't you choose it? Why didn't you choose it as your retirement uh bungalow instead of a I know you are from Akure, but it seems to me uh a better option than why yeah. don't you have vitamin bungalow there instead of a uh, one oh, man? I'm, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. I can't live anywhere else than Nigeria when that time comes for my retirement. I can be travel, I can go to Antigua anytime I want, but I, I wish to have house there anyway. But 
Nigeria is my is where I was born, so I will of course go back there. It doesn't really matter, regardless of what is going on right now. That's where I'm going to die by God's grace. During the uh, hurricane season, uh, hurricane season, do they suffer mm -hmm. from uh, hurricane uh, heat? That that is a very good question. So, mm -hmm. where hurricane is one of the problem that uh, any Caribbean country has. So when that happens, I I see some people here. Oh, hey, it is hurricane. I just laugh. I say you don't want you don't want to see hurricane because if you see it. You will not pray for your enemy. Hurricane is a very, very. I think uh, I go, we understand what I'm what what I'm talking about because I think they have a little bit oh, of yeah. that in US. No, yes. In, oh, yes. And, and and four years ago, because you know it is Antigua and Barbuda, right? Oh yes, yes. That's the right. Yeah. Hurricane wiped the whole Barbuda. Yes. And they have to move people from yes. Barbuda to the mainland. Up to, to now, the they, are still, they are still trying to rebuild that uh, that. Uh, that um, place back, so it is something that is really taking a lot of money from uh, from this um, Caribbean country. Otherwise, they they, they they will be doing very well for them. Everyone now they still doing very well for themselves because and the me, hurricane uh, and, and the hurricane comes every year. That is right. Ah, oh my show. Ah, that is right. Oh, you both just do do concert Kerecha. So, as, as, a, as a matter of fact, there was a time hurricane. Um, was I? We have a lot of hurricane anyway, and the funnest part of it is that it doesn't really matter to me. That is what I will tell all any Nigeria that's listening to this uh, to this conversation. In anything you do, you do it with one mind. Be honest. You, you know, we are talking of hurricane here now and the way it's so frightening. It doesn't really matter to me. I still put my, my vehicle. I was using one old Toyota Corolla. Put it inside that inside that hurricane. Even debris on the road, stone on the road, I still go through all that. Why many people stay home and I still have to go to prison to go and work? Why? Because I think that, okay, if I, if I call sick, I stay home. And this one stay home. And that one stay home. And this one stay home. Who is going to take care of those that's behind bar? Who is going to take care of them? Then we have our national security at stake. Because tomorrow, when you come back now, you open this door, you open door for them or whatever, then we have a very good uh, good uh, riot in our hand, which might even bust to the town because the prison is right in the heart of the city. St. John is the capital. It is just right in the heart of the city. So what if everything if they if they if they if they beat officer up or kill some of the officer and they, and they escape? So we won't have so weird where do we call country. So I take my job seriously, do whatever I want to do, take it seriously. <clears throat> some of my colleagues, I was telling them, I said, you see, whatever I do, I do it because of future, not now. And it's going to pay off. And today I see that. When I went back, mm -hmm. when I went back last uh, mm -hmm. last month, they were looking at me and they, what you are looking good, man. You you doing well for yourself. I say, well, remember, I always tell you, do what is right and take your job seriously. And one of my colleagues said, oh, you always say that. I said, okay, good. You remember. <laughs> and what's the what, what's the racial mix? What's the racial mix? And who rules it? Is it a combination of Indians and blacks? And it is are black. they? Are, uh, it is don't, don't even go there, woman. It is black rule and tiger. Okay, yeah. <laughs> so, so, but 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 we have some Syrian that has a uh, uh, money bag. Hmm. So they they also they so, they also have influence in whatever political landscape we have there. Like um, we have somebody named Adid. Is we have Adid? We have Anne. These are Syrian people, and though they born in Antigua anyway, they born they were born in Antigua, but their forefather they are from Syria. So, but they are doing well also. They support government. They give them a lot of money to fix the country and do whatever they want to do. So they have say in any party that they want to be, to to emerge as the as the as the leading party in, in the country. But it is the, it is the black the prime minister, most of uh, the cabinet. Are blacks 
Uh, what, what sort of accent do they have? Do they have? Where, where you say man? Where, where oh, you say man? Right. Where you oh, okay. say man? Where you say man? Where you say man? Jamaican, <laughs> Jamaican accent. <laughs> it's not really Jamaican accent. It's just that it's just, and and you see now we don't call it Jamaica. Jamaica. We call it Jamaica. 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 We call it not Jamaica. We call it um, 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 Guyana. 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 Mm. Guyanese. Mm -hmm. so so that is it. so it's not it, if you if you look if, if you listen to all the caribbean they have the same accent and they have yes. the same dialect almost you cannot really differentiate this is we that can say oh where well, that guy is from jamaica yes because yes. we live together so i know yes. them if 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 Guyanese person is talking in front of me i will know that this one is Guyanese. but you that you are from outside you won't know the difference between Guyanese, Jamaica, Saint Kitts, uh, Saint Vicent, uh, Vicentia, uh, Guadeloupean, we won't know the difference. But we recognize them. Oh no, this guy is from Jamaica. Even if say, mm. you say, you see, it is very funny. Uh, this was right. Guadeloupe is a Dutch colony, isn't it? Guadeloupe. That's right. Yes, yeah. yes. You see, it is very funny the way we see life, right? You see, when you're talking about issue of um, uh, tribalism, sentimentalism, or whatever we call it. It happens everywhere in the world. Do you want to tell you the story? We have so many villages in, in Antigua. We have um, we have Saint Mary Parish, which is like which is an old road. We have um, we have um, Willikis. We have um, All Saint. We have uh, Benders. We have uh, so when these people are talking, <laughs> this is very funny, right? <laughs> When somebody from uh, Green, uh, Green Bay or Grace Farm talking to somebody from Willikis, oh, that man came from Willik Willikie man. That's Willikie man. The same Antigua I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Let alone Nigeria. So, so if Bender's man is talking, they will say, oh, na, na, na Bender's man came from now. Now Bender's man, no. Or, or Grace Farm or, or Green Bay. So, so they, they know themselves. So, you can imagine if it happens in that small country, what about Nigeria? <laughs> so it happens all over the world. Who, who is their biggest rival in their in, in the Caribbean? Are they all envious? I know they're all envious of the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans are their daddy, but who, who do they consider their closest? Who do they hate? The Antiguans? Uh, well, if you want to if you want to say that, uh, we say, like you like you rightly said, you are right. I will say Jamaican, Jamaicans or Guyanese. Though they live together, right? They but one of the biggest problem is that they believe that oh Jamaica come here and they take and take chance of take a chance of them and believe that uh, they mostly commit crime, right? And with what I've seen so far too, the you know, when you come to a place and you want to take shot too, mm -hmm. like Every single thing you want to be there, you want to show off that. Oh, me, me from here too. Jamaica used to do that, like to do that, and Guyanese. So, and Antigua don't want that, particularly when it comes to issue of uh, political parties. We have a uh, um, um, Labour Party, and we have uh, people, uh, um, um, what's the name of this uh, progressive party? So, every every individual goes to this party jamaican guyanese but when when you see guyanese come to labor party and believing that okay where well, they, they they are there then uh, the second party now will be saying that you are you know you're not from here now so like me i know my boundary i stay away from that crap i don't involve in any any of the politics right so to come back to your to your question jamaica is the arrival one of the reasons is that they do not usually regularize their stay. You get what I'm saying? They, so they, they want to feel like, okay, we we we, are, we feel among, like you're supposed to go to immigration office now to go and regularize your stay now. You didn't, show, you didn't go there. You just live anyhow because you believe that you are from Caribbean. So Antigans don't like that. They want to follow the guidelines, go to, go to immigration, renew your paper, and then do what you need to do. And stay away from uh, from uh, from uh, criminal behavior. Mm. Well, what's their music? Is it calypso or reggae? That is, you are very right, calypso. 
Hey, still, still drums, Abi. Still, yes, still they, still play drums. they play still drum. If you want some of the music, I can send it to you anyway. One of my neighbors he used to be one of these. And uh, we, we, I, only, I usually play that in my in my car anyway when I, when I'm ready. I usually play that. that. So, um, they play calypso, but Jamaica is uh, is reggae. Jamaica is reggae, but reggae is well loved all over Caribbean anyway. Hmm. So, but reggae is mainly for. For Jamaica, you have Bob Marley, you have uh, Dudu Heritage, you have uh, Buju Bantu, you have um, Busy Signal, and Co. Uh, they what, are all from what, 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 what's, what's the food? Is it really seafood based sort of? What's the diet? Is it seafood type of fish, fish with everything sort of? Uh... Well, we, we eat a lot of fish over there, but our national food is uh, pepper pot and uh, fungi. Fungi is made from uh, from cornmeal. They stir it, make it soft like a pounded yam, like pounded yam, and you cook your okra with your fish, and you put it beside it. Wow! <laughs> uh, you, you, should, you, uh, you, I want to live there now. The way you are describing it, never mind you living there. I want to live there. You know. Well, you know, I'm a I'm a Nigerian man to the core. Even if we break up today, I'm a Yoruba man to the core. So that is a, that is a fact. Do they have a drug problem? Do they have a drug problem? Um, I'm not going to say that, but there is a lot of uh, drugs. Uh, like you know, it, it happens everywhere too. Even in this small community that I am, it happens here. Like, like drug trade and moving drugs around and stuff like that. It, it is, it is, it is. There is no doubt about that. It happens in all Caribbean, almost everywhere in Caribbean. Oh, oh, all right, brilliant. So our Antiguan correspondent, Baba, <laughs> uh, 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 you see, there it is. Uh, uh, one hundred and twenty thousand people, and it's a country. So, so even, 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 I think it's even less than that. I just want to give them that uh, that opportunity to be to be just like that. They are, they are. I don't. I think they are less than that. And no. that is why sometimes some people, when they. Uh, when uh, we are saying we can have Yoruba nation, we can have the Afrian nation, we can have some people say, oh, it's not possible, you can't that, have it. Thank, thank you, 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 just, you just that, laugh at them. But, um, that, look, look at... Thank, I, I'm, thank you, Professor Jalegoko. That is what I'm saying. You see, the local government alone can, can be a country of its own. Let our Lagos state, uh, uh, of course. Nigeria... In fact, you see when you when we coming back to the issue of Nigeria, sometimes I always say like I always almost shed tears. Because we have all what we need to be a better person in this life that we don't even need to go anywhere. I am saying when people argue, oh, there's nothing. Abia State can Abia State has not because they, they usually refer to Abia State. Abia State has nothing. I just look at them like this. I look at these people. They don't even know what is going on. When you travel around the world, then you see that. Small country that is even not up to one tenth of that state, living to and living, they, and they are doing very well. And they are doing very well, and they are, and their citizens can even go to anywhere with their passport without even have to hustle for for payment for visa payment and all kind of this bureaucracy. And they can go anywhere they want and fly or fly out, fly home. Those, uh, yeah, and somebody you know, is telling me, and somebody yeah. is telling me that Abia State cannot cannot stand cannot stand <laughs> hey boy. Bible, oh, Bible, okay, they don't spend, they, they know Luxembourg in Europe is richer than Nigeria. Luxembourg, small country like Luxembourg is richer than that. That's sad. Luxembourg. Yeah, but it's a money laundering heaven now. It's oh, a money. Okay. <laughs> where, where is that? Where, Luxembourg. Where is that? Luxembourg. It, it, it's one of Luxembourg. those. Uh, Luxembourg. Lo, okay, lo, yeah, Luxembourg. Yeah. Very close to Belgium. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. It's one I of think, those. I, yeah. I think Pandora. It, it was. I think it. I think it breaks away from uh, from Belgium anyway. Luxembourg. Yes. Okay, yeah. so I, I see uh, Mr. Alexander Gomez here. Thank you very much. Yes, it's super touching in your direction. Uh, Baba uh, Kure, uh, your story is very touching. Wow, some of <laughs> us are really self made. Uh, one love, my brother. So, thank you for so, the super chat, Alexander. So, everybody, even, even in this community that we are in this Canada, because here in the community that I am right now, we are like um, maybe like 60,000 people in this community. And right now we have a lot of Nigerians here. I can tell you, I was one of I was number one international student in this community that came to study here. That represents both Nigeria and Atiga 
in this community i was the first black person in my course in this community when we first came here we were four in number i mean five yes sir. you I deserve was, to I, be honored though <laughs> I, I i represent Antigua, <laughs> nigeria there was a lady from cameroon and the three i mean four uh three other guys from jamaica we the, we are the first black uh, black students in this community and at that time when we first came they were looking at our skin where are you guys where, what are you guys doing here and i said to them when god leads you so we need to believe in ourselves that okay with god all th all things all things are possible when you believe that you will of course achieve your aim right now we have even right now in the, in in after 80 years that i came to this community we have more than 100 nigerian students in this community right now do, do you resent that because i would you know I, would you do you resent that there are more nigerians coming into uh onto your part no i don't if i don't resent it no no, sure? no i don't i don't i want everybody to i i want everybody to achieve their aim you can't take away my 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 house from me you can't take my job away from me you can't take all my citizenship away from me so i want you to achieve your aim and every nigerian that comes to this community even if they don't even come to my house i get their number and i go to their house sat, uh, sit them down talk to them this is what you can do to do this this is what you can do to achieve this this is what you can do to achieve this and that is why i wear i'm well loved by them and they usually anything they want to do they usually consult me first and talk, oh hey uh, as a matter of fact it is they gave they gave me mayor now <laughs> they say oh, this guy's our mayor even my church what they call me is my is, is our mayor i mean nigerian that goes uh, mm. with that we go to the same church they call me mayor so I tell them, okay, this is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. This is what you have to do. You want to buy a house? This is what you have to do to achieve this. So I, I, I am free. I, I am free to everybody anyway. So that is me. Yeah, now it's community <laughs> organizer. No, no, One no. Day you become not, the mayor no, of the town. No, eh? not really, not really. From there to president of uh, Canada, <laughs> like uh, Obama. <laughs> not really, not really, not really. It is just that um, I want everybody to achieve their aim and get to their the full potential i i am a person though i'm a very strong head person as well though I, I like i work at correction i supposed to be uh, my heart supposed to be hard it's supposed to be be as hard as stone but i i sometimes be too much emotional like i i, I put myself in position of somebody that okay what are if it is me going through this what what would i be doing and that is why, I, I, you know, a lot of things you cannot say it, but I, 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 I'm not rich, like I said, and I am not, uh, I, I'm not rich and I'm not poor. I'm an average man, and I try to help as many, even back home, not in Canada alone. I, I help a lot of people. You know, Baba Kure, I see, a, I, I see a politician in you somehow, and I always have uh, seen that. <laughs> uh, are you why don't you contest for something in that uh in that your community where well, I, I i can i can and i'm trying to join a political party but i really want to go to nigeria and see how we can change the place but the problem is that i cannot join nigerian politics because we are going to bust ourselves because there will be a lot of things that i will not like that they will be doing there was a time I said to my to my colleagues, I said, I want to come to my local government because there are certain things that I, we can change. One of my friends said, oh, they are not going to allow you. They will kill you very fast because you don't take nonsense. <laughs> and I said, Go that is <laughs> Go Go said because there are something that no, I will no, no. do drastically that uh, woman, uh, I, 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 it's just that I'm not. No, no, I, I, I think you should contest <laughs> where you are because you sound like uh, you, you have a natural uh, aptitude uh, for for politics, uh, and if, if you, if you, if you are destined to serve the people, then the, the people are people wherever. So yeah, where, where if, you, if you want to, if, if you want to contest, exactly, I will, I will encourage. Not in Nigeria though, where you are, you know. Where to me, uh, I think. 
I inherited that from my parents, particularly my mom. I could remember when I was growing up, um, my mom liked to help people. If if my mom has her own problem, had her own problem when she was alive, she will she will leave uh, she will leave her own problem and try to solve your own problem before her own. So it is it is, it is it is I am born with that anyway. Like try to help people, put people in my position. Like a few days back, I was talking to my to my wife. There was a friend of mine about in 2016. She said, oh, everything is hard right now. And this, if they cannot even feed, they cannot even do this. Tomorrow, she doesn't even know what, uh, what her children will be eating. And then uh, if we can assist her. We had the hundred dollar at that time. I said, I'm going to send it to this lady. My wife said, OK, go ahead. We send it to this lady. Now, the same lady now came to US now. I don't know how she got there. Anyway. Maybe as a true uh, visa and uh, trying to do whatever they want to do. Like, that's their own problem every single day now they will post the way they dance on social media and i now say to look at this one now you you happy well you happy but how do you feel about people back home because when you dance now and you post this to online where well, i'm not saying that they are mocking some people but it's just that like me i can i can post him but it's no issue of that too happy with the condition that my people are living back home, not my not my immediate immediate family. I'm talking of Nigeria as a whole. Because, like I said to you, I am I'm I'm somehow very flexible and very sentiment. I mean, how do I put it? Like my my mind is very soft. Like I always put people in my in my shoe. That okay, what if it is me going through what this person is going through now that I cannot even I cannot even feed my children. And I cannot even afford three square million a day. How will I feel? I will be, in fact, maybe I will be the one of those people that will jump into Laguna, right? But, but you are allowed to be happy, by the way, Baba Kure, and you are allowed to you are allowed to enjoy your successes in life. So it, 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 don't, it don't shy away from your successes. It, 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 um, it is true, but to me, I'm very sorry to disappoint uh, to, to disappoint you, one man. I cannot be happy. I, I, like I said. I'm averagely okay. I'm not poor. I'm not rich. Whatever I want, at least I, I can afford it. But not when millions of Nigerians are suffering that they cannot feed. I cannot be happy until when I see changes in Nigeria that people can feed themselves without having to call people in abroad. You see, I, I, I'm very sorry to mention this to you. You see, the last few, last few weeks, you, you said to me that, oh, some people are asking me, uh, I am away. I do this. I do that. It is me knew what I was going through. My sister had cancer, and I had to cough out over five hundred thousand. Right. This is the person that only that has as uh, children. How much are these children making per month? One of them told me that she is making less than ten thousand from the primary school that she's teaching. She's teaching. She's teaching in the primary school. She make like nine thousand or there about ten thousand. Okay, the second one is the same thing. So, do you know how much? Do you know how many years they have to work? Two of them have to work before they can raise over five hundred thousand. So, I'm not talking of my family alone. That was what I've been going through for for the past few months. You know, it's just that you know I don't really want to say it, but you know when you get to a, uh, get to a situation, it will it will come out of you, right? But I'm very glad that she is okay now. Do you know how many millions of Nigeria are going through that? How can I be happy when I see people like that? When I see millions of Nigerians that cannot, I, I, I don't have to go to Nigeria. I, I can go anywhere I want. If I feel today I'm, I'm going to live in US, I it's just like I dust my passport and go to US and go and live. I can live anywhere I want. But how many people can can do that? So how can how can I be happy when I see small children that I cannot go to school? Then you want me to post it on that I arrive. Well, sometimes you can you can just but no issue of dancing and happy and why you know a lot of problem that is going back home. I cannot be happy honestly. One man, I'm very sorry to disappoint you. 
I'm very no, sorry. No, 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 you're, you're allowed. You have my permission to be happy, Baba Kure. Uh, you have Ajan Lekoko's permission to be happy. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, you see, we, you see, I'm just laughing like this. Like I said to you, I'm just laughing like this. I am so much concerned. I understand what you mean, though. I understand what you mean. That it just seems so unsightly that uh, you you are living this life that looks so comfortable, and the people looking at you, they, they are not even sure that a meal is coming tomorrow. Exactly. So, so yeah, I I know. <laughs> But but there will always be those people, and there will always be people like you. But so you, you, can't, you can't carry the weight of everybody on but, your but shoulders. I I understand what you are saying, one man, yeah. but not as million that we have, hmm. right? In Canada here, we have poor people too. I have my own house. We have millions of uh, uh, millions of Canadians that cannot afford it. Are you getting my point? But mm. the, this basic uh, basic amenities like uh, okay, where well, you 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 food, common food, when people cannot even gari gari, some people some people it's very tough for them to buy gari. So I I I cannot be happy one man do, when do, I'm getting do, 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 do you not have a social welfare system in uh, in Canada? We do. We do. If you if you if you if you do not have um maybe if you don't have if you don't have job there's a quota that government will have to give you until when you get job if you don't have house government provide out but not everybody gets upon that opportunity anyway we see have some people also that stay on that bridge here but when the winter comes then they have to open some place for them to go in right but even even those people that is on the uh, that see on, uh, under the bridge but they can still feed three times in a day good me that is the point i'm making here when you see millions of uh, millions of children in Nigeria that can, they, their parents don't even know what they are going to eat, and the father has to run away from home just because of food, we are not even talking of clothes now. We're talking of food, ordinary food that we sustain you. And if we, we have a situation of some people, I mean the uh, the wife got um, twins at the hospital, and the guy ran away. Yes, the guy you, ran away I, because it doesn't. I, have to pay for the treatment, he doesn't have. He just ran away, abandoned the wife and children one, there. One, one man, I, I I can tell you when they put when they put uh, ten ten Nigerians together, their money is even more than GDP of Canada. Just ten Nigerians, and these are the people. <laughs> these are the people. I I don't know maybe because I'm not rich anyway, but with the little I have, I know how many people I'm helping every single month, right? These people have this money. Then you have a lot of people on the street. You pass through them. You can't even say, okay, well, let me see what I can do. But you use the money, just lavish life and waste on yash, waste on bad day, waste on just to show off. <laughs> well, woman, I cannot be so that happy until. But Nigerians when, love to oppress now. Nigerians love to oppress. Uh, that, that, that I, are you not an oppressor? I, I'm, I'm not one of them. I, yeah. I, I, I can, I can, well, when I go home, I have my own vehicle home, nice vehicle that I use, but I'm not using to oppress anybody. I just want my own comfort. I have my house that I stay to, but it is me still know how, okay, I went home last year. My door is wide, widely open. People come in, come out, come in, come out. Padre 24, 25, 26. It is in and out, like Oslo in motion. In and out, in and out. People are coming to my house and get out. People are coming and get out. People are coming and get out. I never get robbed. But I cannot be happy, honestly, until when we have good government in Nigeria, when many people in Nigeria, I'm not saying that everybody has to be equal. We cannot be equal until the kingdom come. But Baba Kure, if you feel this strongly, then you have to take ownership of your feelings and take action. So this tells us that your your path leads to politics. Which action, <laughs> oh, man? Well, well, no, <laughs> you, you, you 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 cannot you cannot want all of this change, and you cannot feel this strongly about people and somebody with your strength and sagacity not be able to do something about it. So. What you are describing to us is somebody that has all of the instincts of a politician and the right sort of politician as well. So that seems to me well, your your direction of travel. Well, you are, you are very right. And, and like, 
Uh, Akure. Yes. You see, God has put you in such uh, a position. He has put you in the right place, in a town where you are a leader. And as such, you have to you have to step forward for your people. Go into politics in that place, rally around the Nigerian people, and uh, and and then you can, uh, uh, you know, um, be in a governmental position and use it more better to the advantage of your people and your community. So, all right. You, 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 <laughs> Look, look but but do it, oh, Baba Kure. Don't don't look procrastinate. Do it. Yes, do it. I, 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 well, yeah. honestly, <laughs> honestly, uh, I, I, uh, Professor Jale and the one man. Yeah. Honestly, I wish I can really have. I will pass your inauguration. Yeah, we will come here. Yeah. <laughs> I, I will come. Definitely, I will come. I will you come. know, it's not. I it's only a ticket now, and a Airbnb. I, That's all. Ticket I, and Airbnb. I really, yeah. I really <laughs> want to go to Nigeria and make this very great impact. Canadians don't really have problem. We no, have no, problems in problem. Nigeria, no, and we no. have problems in Africa. Look, look. <laughs> Friend in Nigeria, let me tell you about Kure. Your friend in Nigeria that told you don't go there, he advised you well. It's a very dangerous place. People that you want to help. Some other people are looking at that position you want to go and contest in Nigeria as a position that should be for them and not for you. And they can use anything whatsoever to harm you or right. harm anybody on their way. So they don't think like that. They don't see you. They won't see you as a person that uh, came back home to contribute to the uh, development of uh, that place and then change, take people out of poverty. They will not look at it like they just say, oh, he's coming from abroad. He thought he have money. He want to come and chance us. Oh, let us deal with him. Well, you're they, they, right, they, uh, they, you're having right. Yeah, they don't, they don't, they are, look, uh, uh, look, what you can just do it help people around you. And that's it for over there. If you want to go into politics there, it's a different, it's a very dangerous. I will never, I will never advise my enemy to go in there. My enemy from here. If that person in Nigeria, they know how to deal with each other. They know how they spotify themselves with uh, Babala War and everything. But anybody from here, I will advise him, my worst enemy, I will tell him, not to go in there, not to go and participate in Nigerian politics. It's dangerous, it's treacherous, it's they, 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 they can kill because they see that position of authority as a position to steal, to steal money and make money. And it's not one person that is involved. There are a group of, group of them. So don't go there, please. Uh, Your friend, uh, also, uh, uh, also, but also, you can do it peacefully here. You don't have to know anybody. You just have to do run your campaign the way you want to run it easily. Get your people around you, knock on doors. People love you, they vote for you. They don't love you, it doesn't matter. I mean, there is no stress. And and, it, and you could be surprised. Some people could say, first time in this place, a black person contesting, let us give him a shot. And you'll be surprised. You see your face, and you see yourself, in the position of leader you know, you know there's a there's a nigerian i think who is a um either a mayor or something in in some deep russian uh city you know i, 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 think, they, I, they, I think i know the guy yeah, yes they have even less black people than than you have where mm -hmm. you are yeah. <laughs> yeah well it is it is something that i'm, I'm i've been looking at anyway um i'm still thinking of which party should i engage with then we can go from there. Actually, I have uh, given it a thought sometimes, but I'm still um, looking at both parties, maybe Labour or Conservative or something like that. Nature. So I'm still looking at that anyway. I will see <laughs> what we have. Oh, 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 all right. Well, well done, Baba. So, so that's I'm that's very sad Baba to, Kure, take, take, to take the whole stage today anyway. No, no. no <laughs> I, I, okay. What, what do you think was more interesting? <laughs> Saying for the hundredth time that Buari is a, is, is a killer. <laughs> Or listening to <laughs> you, you know your quite enthralling uh, life history. So 
So, so uh, uh, well, I, it, that, it, that, that, that more, yeah, I, you know, I think the audience, they, they wanted to hear that it, more than it, to it, hear us say about it. It, uh, it is just uh, that, it is just that, um, it is just that, um, I cut the story short. Um, I, I am not, I am not the person that bonds with Silver Spoon. Are, are um, you the first burn? Are you the first burn or the no, first I, I, or, or the I'm only the boy? First, I'm, uh, I'm the first son of my mom, but my, I'm the third born of my third son of my dad right now. I was not born with silver spoon. Um, my mom was like a normal people, like a um, petit trader. But I, I you know, when you when you when you build your life history, shape the way you behave to people. That is why I I had that passion and compassion because I, I always put my people. I mean, put myself in position because I I have experienced a, a situation whereby we do not have food to eat and we have to go to farm. Those who close, who those who know about about farm here, we. We really know what I'm talking about. You know, when you have when you plant corn, and you want that corn, you want that corn to, to to bring out seed very fast. You will go to the farm, and you open the you open the 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 the, the skin. You open some of them, and within three four days, you will see them have a half seed. I have been to that that type of life, right? when you there's nothing much at home then you have to you have to go to farm and then start open the 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 the, the skin of your of your corn to make sure that they, they 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 bring out a seed i have gone through that that we have to we have to we have to go to the farm and open it so three four days after we go we went back there and we can harvest the corn and bring it home so i i have been in that position so that is why I always use myself as a, as a, as um, as an example to so many people. It, it and it is for you to 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 give to my advice when when people come to my surroundings and I and I talk to them. Okay, this is what you can do. This is what you cannot do. This is what you can do. This is what you cannot do. If you follow this step, this is what you are going to arrive on. I don't care about whatever you achieve because, like I said earlier, you cannot take my house away from me. I have my own house. You cannot take it away from me. And whatever I have cannot be taken away from me, so it doesn't it doesn't cost me to give you advice of how to how you can achieve your own thing too, and make sure that I follow you and I support you in that journey because I have seen a lot in life. I'm not the person that was brought up with butter and bread. I struggle for every single thing, and you can imagine I have been I've been buying my own clothes when I was in uh, in GSS two. They used to they call it grade. How I many what grade did they call it here? From my from my from my SS1, SS2, SS3, SS, uh, SS1, SS2, SS3, let's say SS, GS3, GS, um, SS1, SS2, anyway, let me put it that way. It is the price I got from the school because it is I be the best in my class or second in my class. They usually give us notebook and textbook and whatever you are going to use for the next class. That was how I graduated from my from my school. So when I talk about life story. <laughs> I, I can write book about it anyway. You know, I, I, I'm here. I just quiet and make laugh and make joke and talk. But I've seen a lot in life. So, and everywhere I go, I always, I always, like, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm belittle, my, belittle myself, but I'm trying to, to stay cool and lie low and do whatever I think it is best for me to make money at that time. Like I said to you, I clean, I clean drainage for government of Antigua and Barbuda. For good two years, I cleaned drainage. I cut side. I cut grass on the side road. I went through all that before I moved to prison service and be a correction officer. So no, there's no story. Somebody wants to tell me that I I I don't have idea of it. <laughs> so you, you, you know you know Baba Kore. Uh, yeah, as we were talking, I was just, I was just reminded of the story I heard of a guy that he went for an interview in London for a job. So um. You know all those questions that they ask you just to to, to see uh, your personality, and that standard question: How do you how do you um how do you respond to pressure? You know uh, how do you uh, are you able to function under pressure? And then the guy is a Nigerian, by the way, 
uh, he then went through the story of his life that uh, he's the firstborn and first but uh, only only boy in his family who are dead poor. You know, he, he said that um, to educate himself, he got a, a scholarship. But that scholarship was for only the top two positions in every in, in the class. Mm -hmm. So he had to maintain top two positions in every class. Now, because they were so poor, he could not abuse his own textbook. So he had to make sure that his textbooks were pristine so that he could uh, pass them on down to his younger ones. But he couldn't miss the top two positions in any class because he knew if he missed it, his education ended. That's you know, right. and then of course he still had to fend for his family in some part. Uh, before he got to the train station, they phoned him that you got the job. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, that, that, because that, 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 that that's that's a winner right there. That's exactly. Right there. That yeah. that is that is why I love like, I love Nigeria. It is just that we don't have good government. Nigerians are. This, uh, how do I put it? Resilience. They can, if they can, if they can even go in, inside mountain and they can achieve what they want to achieve. I'm not talking of those this one four one nine of frosters. I'm talking of those who really, who really, who really know what they are doing and they don't really want to involve in any any this dirty job to make money. I'm not talking of dirty job of cleaning drainage or whatever, whatever. Anyway, or. Or working as a customer service agent. Mm -hmm. I'm talking of stay on computer and just a uh, uh, bike or Nikkei or whatever, whatever that mm -hmm. is not legitimate. Mm -hmm. So Nigeria, if anywhere you go in Nigeria, you will see them that they are top notch. They do what they can do to achieve what they want to achieve in life. That is Nigerian. That is we Nigerians. It is just that we don't we don't have government. If we have government, like I always say on this platform, any day Nigeria gets itself together, Africa will get itself together, the old black race will be respected and they will get themselves together. That is we Nigerians. It is just that we do not have good government. And will I say some European did it in, to do it to suit themselves? Will I say that? Mm -hmm. I will say mm, yes, but at the same time, I will say no. Because if you, if if my people, if my people, like the president we have, all these people that we have that have been leading us in all this, why? If they believe that, okay, these are my people, I'm not going to dance to the stone of this person, to these people. I want to do what is right for my people. Nigeria will move forward better than the way we are, we are right now. Look at Tinubu now going to be going to Shatam House because that is his uh, that is apartment. So he, he want to go there now and and uh, and preach, but left us that he want to be the leader or uh, I mean be, uh, be our leader. Left us he couldn't answer us answer our question. He couldn't attend any occasion that we invited him to. He he prefer to just uh, to just uh, have his own or uh, have his own. Uh, those people that we have a soft question, ask him for soft question, he organized that so that he, they, they, we, won't, we won't find his lapses. So I'm not going to say that European European people still doing us by now, but we we ourselves, our leaders, look at what happened in so many African countries. Look at what happened in, in um, Burkina Faso. Look at what happened to Thomas Ankara. Name them. It is the same black people collided with collided with uh, with all this uh, European European nation and killed these people. Look at uh, Patrick Lumumba. So it is we the same black. I should take the downfall of these people. Are we going to say that European causing it? It doesn't really matter what, whatever they promise you, they might promise you White House. If you really devote your time that this is my people, we share the same color and I want better things for them. We are not going to find ourselves in this mess. We are not going to. All right. Well said, Baba Kure. So, well said, Baba Kure. So, uh, so, gentlemen, I think I'm going to start to round off here because I'm not sure that we can, there's anything else that anybody else can. It's too early, one man. Uh, 
Uh, is it true? Is it, is it, what, what, what else can we say that is? Uh, uh, I, 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 what, what else can we say that is that can be better than what we've heard from Baba Akure? Yeah, no, Baba Akure's story is very touching, a heart touching story. It, 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 will, it will be an anti, anything else we'll say will be yeah. an, an anti climb. But what I, yeah. what I took, it will okay. be an anti climb unless uh, anybody uh, wants to share an inspirational story. But I don't yeah, want to yeah, discuss yeah, yeah. poli. I don't want to discuss politics after what Baba Akure just. Yeah, just what Baba Akure said is yeah. good. Uh, one yeah. thing I took about what the story.